So what's going on guys, it is JM, it is Speedboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos, also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions in what I'm saying in any of the videos, like always it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So, I've just been watching ITV, you know as you do, you know, 3 o'clock, um, watching a bit of Dickens and Real Deal, getting ready to go to the gym, and then I see the advert for the Chris Eubank Jr. fight when he fights off at Abraham on ITV pay-per-view. Even though it shouldn't really be on pay-per-view anyway. But, you know, it is what it is. But then I see the price for the pay-per-view. And it's £17. Like, what happened to tenors? Like, that's the deal, Chris. That, yeah, ITV pay-per-view, but he charges tenors. But he's charging us 17 quid like he's on Sky Sports fighting a top name. But he's fighting off Abraham, who's faded. Like, to be honest, I've seen worse pay-per-views. Eddie Hearn has put on some shambles over the years. But come on, Chris. Jesus Christ, 17 quid to watch him not fuck out of a faded off at Abraham. Like, oh, the Eubanks, man. Like, some people might pay it. Some people might think, you know what, that's fair. The undercard's not bad. And it's not a bad undercard at all. You've got Lee Selby defending his world title on the undercard. And you've got a couple of good domestic clashes as well. Kid Galahad's on the card. Stepping up since his return back to the ring. And it's not too bad, but £17 on ITV. Like, come on, Chris, man. It's like, but this is what him and his dad are doing. They're just trying to get as much money out of the public as possible. And we all know this. And it's just going to be a reoccurring thing as long as Chris Eubank Jr. is still a relevant name. And right now, he is a relevant name in the boxing world. Well, in the British boxing world anyway, because he is the villain and his dad and him play the villain very well because people are going to see this and think £17, go fuck yourself, you know what I mean? To fight Arthur Abraham, but I don't know, it's the Eubanks in it, they just want to get as much money out as people as fucking possible, even though he's fighting a 37 year old Arthur Abraham. But I thought, yeah, pay per view, be tenors, but £17, it's like, I know it's not loads of money, but still, do you really want to be saying £17 to watch Chris Eubank Jr? fight off for Abraham like pfft. you know what I'll be finding a nice lovely little stream for this fight that's all I'm saying because I ain't paying no 17 quid bollocks and it's the same when Sky Sports put it on as well when they put on some bollocks <coughs> Joshua Molino <coughs> Joshua Molino you know what I mean I don't want to put that bollocks on my Sky Bill so I'll be watching it on fucking streaming so it is what it is comment below in the comment section you think Eubank should be charging 17 quid for him to not fuck out of off for Abraham because he is going to do that and all these people are saying, oh, but Arthur Abraham's a big step up and all this stuff. And it is a little bit of a step up, but Arthur Abraham has seen better days. This is a man who struggled with Martin Murray and um, Paul Smith, but only got such wide decisions because he was in fucking Germany. And even in Germany, he barely got the decision against Martin Murray. Like, this guy is faded. He got absolutely destroyed by Gilberto Ramirez over 12 rounds. And in his last two fights, he fought limited opposition. And even then, he hasn't really looked fantastic. He looks slow as fuck. Arthur Abraham now and you just won't be able to keep up with a Eubank who's quick as fuck so it is what it is, it's JM, it's Sweetboxing.